look at this Metsugoya has changed we are in season I would say and that is how Metsugoya looks like during high season I will turn take you a bit around now that you can experience it more <laughs> Springtime in Medjugorje. You see the terraces are full. Pilgrims are coming, arriving. And this is Metsugorje in the season now for you guys. I told you it's coming and here it is. You see these are buses from Austria. Tradition, traditionally there are a lot of Austrians for Palm Sunday here and you see you have a Croatian bus. Another Croatian bus here and this is the sure sign that season has started that you will see a lot of buses in town. Just to give you an impression, there's the roundabout. I won't go all the way over there. Uh, if you see, and we go down here, and you can see how many people there are. Oh, 
Austrian bus, the Croatian bus, Austrian bus. Let's see. All because of her. See still people arriving again. Buses over there. Yeah, yeah. Die können schon <laughs> and here you can see that is Metrogoria during the season. And I can show you Jesus. Look to the main door, you can see him. There's adoration time. See, restaurants are full. This is high season in Petrogoria. Suddenly, from one night to another, we have it. High season night in Petrogoria.
that we are entering the Holy Week. mix of all kind of languages, international pilgrims in town. <laughs> Hi, looks beautiful. Can I see? Yeah. Wow, nice. You make this on? Uh, my mother. Wow, she's artist, your mother. Beautiful. So. You see the restaurants are full. And again, buses. Oh, 
And you see, normally in this part of the town at night, not so many people here, not here. Yeah. <laughs> to do a little shopping in the supermarket and now I will take you back into town. You see, it's even there, still a lot of people running around on this side as well. I just asked the cashiers in the supermarket, they said this is it, the season has started. Until November, 1st of November, you will have now Medjugorje more or less like this. As I said, sure sign buses are in town. This one from Austria. Hello. Hello. And you see, this is more local coffee shop where you can get very good cakes, by the way, if you come here. And we are moving back into town. Best ice cream in town, homemade. We come, we come to Krempi, restaurant Krempi. Try the ice cream here. Our German friends always go to, by tradition, to Flado. And again, more buses from Austria. As I told you, traditionally, I have the feeling there are a lot of Austrians for. Palm Sunday and the Holy Week in Medjugorje. Irish Center is open. You see, everything is open now.
and when the bakery San Nicola here is open that means the the season has started there's the second bakery bakery of Medjugorje Here again, St. James Church. Oh. And let's say good night to our lady. The old church of Medjugorje. There is the statue for the martyrs, Franciscan martyrs, and here is Our Lady in the Chapel for Life. And let's pray a Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We had a beautiful conversation today and I would like to make a summary. We all should get out of our boat of self-pity, of sadness, of depression. And we see Jesus outside walking on the water and he stretches out the hand and says, Come on, walk on your problems, walk on the, on the water, look at me, look at love, be guided by love and you can walk on your problems. And that's what we all should do, get out of our boat you know, you can make it yourself comfortable in depression and self-pity, but that's not the state we are created for. We are beloved children of God, and Our Lady always talks about joy and peace in the heart. And that is when we are focusing on love. Our Lady said in the special yearly message to Miriana, victory is in love. Jesus has to grow in us, so we have to look more and more at Jesus, be guided by His Spirit. He sent a, a helper. and. And the helper will help us. And let's pray and say thank you for the helper. Thank you for the guardian angels we have. Thank you for the saints. Thanks for, to our priests. Let's pray for our priests. They are the gateway to heaven. They give us, give us the sacraments. And so let's pray in thanksgiving. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let's hand over all our preoccupations, various anxieties, financial problems, various about the family, children, spiritual wounds, sicknesses, we hand it over and we give it to the healer. We can give it through the healing hand of Our Lady to Jesus who will heal everything, you know. But we have to make the steps, we have to forgive ourselves. Sometimes we are angry with God, sometimes we are angry with ourselves. So we have to forgive all that ourselves. Don't be a perfectionist. I was a trained perfectionist. But only God is perfect. We are not. That's why we have the sacrament of confession, because Jesus knew we are not perfect. We need the sacraments. We have the sacraments like the Holy Communion, you know, the Eucharist. 
What is the sacrament besides the Eucharist we can receive as often as we want? It's confession. You can go and you don't need to go to a psychiatrist. The priest is there and he has more power. He, he can forgive you all the wrong doing, doings. He can help you to leave the anger. We also pray that we leave the anger we have inside. Sometimes it's subconscious deep inside, but we pray, Jesus, take out, root out all the anger we have in our heart. We don't want to carry it around. We want to live in freedom and in fullness. And we are new creations. We have to claim it. In Christ, we are a new creation. We hand over our whole life to Christ and in him, through him, with him, we can do everything. We are a new creation step by step. As Our Lady said to Miriana, Christ has to grow in us. And we pray all this in the name of the Father and of the Son and the whole, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As I said, the Chapel of Life. And you see more buses coming in town, more people. That is Metrigoya when the season has started. And if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button for notifications, give a like and leave comments from where you're watching. I'm so happy to read your messages. I can't answer everybody, but you know, know it for sure. I like them and I read them. And here is Hotel Leona. Again, a lot of pilgrims you can see, mixed up with the young people from Metrogoyen. The school of Medjugorje by night and look one of the therapy dogs as I call them walking around happily here checking out what the pilgrims are doing another bus over there you can see it here Step by step, we are coming to the end of the tour. So please pray for me as I pray for you. Pray for my dad, for the daughters of my brother. And I pray for you here. And thank you for all your prayers. They were already working. We need some more prayers. And be assured every night I pray for you here at Holy Mass in Medjugorje, at the Blue Crosses, different places. There's another supermarket, it's new, very nice. And we are coming again, direction Hotel Lane. Here we are a bit more off the center, as you know, it's more quiet in that area. See another bus here. Two buses. Another bus here. So you can see the season has finally started.
and what I think is so beautiful when the buses they put traditionally our lady in front that people see to whom they belong isn't that beautiful this is the hotel the room where you see light that's the room where I came the first time when I was in Medellin and let's pray for Ma Marino the owner he died last year Ciao. Uh, ciao. he died last year and I talked to his wife and son today we had a little talk and that he may rest in peace and be rewarded for all the good things he did for pilgrims coming to Medjugorje. His name is Marino, like the hotel, Hotel Marino. I like the hotel a lot. My first week and he accommodated me in a very gentle and kind way. And after that week my life changed. You find the personal attest to me several months on the channel. And you can learn a bit about my story. So God bless you all from Medjugorje. Please pray for me as I pray for you here and have a joyful day or peaceful evening depending from where you're watching.